Hello everyone, so today I'm going to show you how to shade water. And yes, I'm using my voice and I'm doing a voiceover for this video because I suck at voiceover and I want to use this opportunity to practice. I hope you enjoy! Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is uh, go to the paint bucket and pick any color. Just pick any color you want for the background. It's free, it's just, just pick any color and color it. I'm gonna go for a lighter shade, make uh, another layer, and then take your background color and make it darker. Then, using dip pen hard, uh, make any shape, any shape you can imagine. Heart, stars, it's free for you. Now use the... Now. Okay, don't mind that part. Okay, now use the blur tool to blur the inside part of your lines. I'm using the pen hard for this one. So yeah, just blur it all up. Okay, now go to brushes and use airbrush normal. And then color the bottom part. You can choose any part, but I'm using the bottom part of the water as the shadow inside the water. Now there. Now go to blending mode and go to add. And then start coloring the top part or the highlight part where the water shines now go to overlay okay now using the pen hard again and also make the color white we will make the details of the highlights make two or three big little like highlight blobs on the water and also make a little just a really small tiny one that you will blur until like it's just non-existent so you will blur a bit for the big ones the big boys you want to blur just the edges and now we're just gonna smooth it now using the special tool we're gonna move it until it's it morph into our blob water shape and there it is now we will be lowering the opacity to 77 and now going to overlay again we will make this crisscross shape and then go to effects and then blur brush and blur it just keep blurring it and then lower the opacity this is an unnecessary step but this is how you made a shadow Duplicate your base and then brush and blur it in the back, <laughs> like in the opposite part of the light where the light is coming from. But again, this is really uh, unnecessary. Now you need to duplicate it in the blending mode and then ignore that part. So yeah, again, this part isn't necessary. If you like your water block the way it is, you don't need to add a shadow. So yeah, I guess that's it for today. Congrats if you made it till the end, and uh, I really <laughs> hope you enjoy this. I'm sorry if I sound really awkward. This is like I'm really not used to voiceovering. I'll try to voiceover more so I can improve. Anyways, goodbye guys!